Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. So we slept in a little bit. Uh, I mean, all things considered, with the yowling cat and all that kind of stuff. And uh, now I am off to get bagels because bagels are good. So good news. I lost a significant amount this week, despite the fact that I have overeaten to the point of like being ill two nights in a row, but enough about that. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a ball buster week of driving everywhere and, and, you know, doing stuff for day job and going to my dad's and all that kind of stuff, which is going to be crazy busy too. So I, and believe this or not, I did day job stuff yesterday. Like I, before Sven Gulli, I did half of all of my presentations and recaps to get ready. So I only have half to go today and I'll probably keep that momentum going and I'll do the week after too, because there aren't that many. And when I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. Today's really going to be about washing clothes and packing to get ready to go on this trip, which means, again, I still have to unload the, the Forerunner and get all that shit out of there. So, yeah, gonna be, gonna be a very busy day. No time for dawdling. I'm gonna try to post something every day while I'm on the road. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not, but it, you know, it, it might combine a day or two. But what I realized, obviously, from the last time I went to my dad's at the beginning of April, which you've seen none of my uh, nostalgia video. Why? Because there was so much footage that I just haven't taken the time to go through it. So that means that if I try to do that again, I won't post anything because there's just too much shit to go through. So I'm posting as often as I can, but I'm not getting stressed or upset if I can't post. Um, and I'm also not letting myself get like way behind on work so that I get stressed and like fucked up about that. So, uh, okay. Enough about that. Let's go get bagels and snarf. Bagels gotten. Let's go eat. Okay, kids. Begrudgingly, she's going with me to the grocery store so we can get her groceries for whilst I'm not here. Do not like. And it looks like yeah. we're going to be driving right into the, the storm. I'm just noticing that. Yeah, it doesn't look Pretty good. Forbidding over there. Yeah. So, yeah. Getting the day started. Gonna get this grocery stuff out of the way. Oh, it actually is raining on us now. Yeah. And then, uh, I guess while it's raining, I'm gonna have to unload this freaking Forerunner. And then I will finish all of the day job stuff that like the presentations and stuff so that I could be done with that shit and I could just turn the computer off and pack everything, get ready to go. And then I have to wash pretty much like every article of clothing I have because now, because it's so gross out, the minute I put it on, it's instantly gross and sweaty and wet and nasty. So I'm gonna wash everything and then I have to pack for a week-ish, which, eh. So yeah, lots of fun today. Okay, uh, let's go to Target and Trader Joe's. So that was a Target trip, and then a fucking maddening Trader Joe's trip. I mean, we know better than to come here on a fucking Sunday afternoon, and here we are and Sunday at, at noon, just like literally ready to get the hockey sticks out and start bashing people out of the way. It's amazing how the generation older than me are so fucking rude. Like, they literally have no concept of, like, what's around them. They just stop as they're walking into the entrance so that they're blocking people coming in, people coming out. Then when they come out, as soon as they get out the door, they, like, put their purse and their wallet away and put their sunglasses on and block the door. It's like, Jesus, have you ever heard of the concept of other people? It doesn't like, help that at Trader Joe's, the entrance and the exit are the same door, so you're trying to, like do one of these anyway and if somebody stops nobody can go anywhere i, I want to like continually carry around uh, like a screen that has that little bit of dumb and dumber huh. where 
the hitman's in the phone booth and the guy outside is going, have you ever heard the concept of other people, me being those people? It's like, geez, okay, rant done. It's hot as balls. <laughs> it's so freaking hot and, and like humid that it, that literally she gets out of the car, I get out of the house, whatever, and every screen and sunglass and all that shit instantly just completely Fog. fogged over. It was actually amazing. I like, I stepped out of the car in the parking lot and it was just like, can't see. Yep. Boom, that fast. So it says 88, feels like 102. <laughs> and there's a flood watch because apparently it's supposed to rain, but they've been saying that all, thunderstorms possible around 145. Whatever. So it's actually so hot right now that I'm not going to like go to three ships like we would normally do when we leave here. Uh, because I don't want like, the groceries like yeah, like there. sitting in this yeah. vehicle for uh -huh. even even five minutes is too long because it just heats this up inside here so fast. So we'll just take shit home and and I'll go finish my presentations or something and then then go back out, which will be a nice little break. At least the, the shopping is done. Yeah, now you've got food for the week. I'm not here, and I bought a bunch of fruit to eat today because Fatty needs fruit, not junk and I feel like I haven't had a vegetable in a long time although I made it a point to eat a lot of salad and, and you know steamed veggies when I was on the road so a lot of asparagus in fact when I got that shitty steak at the at the steakhouse and didn't eat it it, it felt like it was a triple portion of asparagus there was so much I couldn't finish it so I guess I have had some vegetables peppers and onions just yesterday morning yeah in our breakfast. in our five egg over cheese with all the other carbohydrate greasy shit there were still <laughs> vegetables in it yeah. that's like going and getting a whopper and saying there was lettuce on it mm. most importantly the seltzer water was on sale so i got three cases of it because i haven't had seltzer water in like two weeks it feels like because i just kept forgetting to get it because you know dumb monkey likes to go to Walmart. Walmart? Holy shit. Huh. Target, Target. Every day. I gotta get I my Target in. sparkling watermelon juice. Yeah. I gotta get, uh, get my fill-in of Target today. Well, I, trust me, I did get my fill of Target today. Jesus. Uh, because there isn't one in my hometown, so I'll have to deal with Walmart. You really will have to go to Walmart. Yeah. It's probably why I said that, it's stuck in my head that I'm going to Walmart for four days. It's like the only thing to do in Meadville, go to Walmart. Yeah, so this is kind of the, the food itinerary because I'm assuming that the Starbucks is finally open now. So get up, go and get Starbucks. Lunch, go get tacos at Pizza Villa. Dinner, go get a footlong from Eddie's. Dessert, go to Hank's for custard. <laughs> and where's the vegetables in all that? There's plenty of vegetables in those uh, footlongs because I get it with everything. It's even fermented sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's oh, yeah, good for okay. you. Okay. Tacos, it got all the lettuce, lettuce? and tomato and There's onions. lettuce on that Whopper? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> there's... <laughs> I don't think there's any vegetables on a Starbucks breakfast sandwich. I guess I'm going to have to go to Cracker Barrel and get Grandpa's <laughs> Country Fried Breakfast. Wait, there's no vegetables in that either. Holy shit. Get, the fried, get the fried apples, the baked <laughs> apples with the breakfast and cup say there's fruit with your breakfast at least. But hash brown casserole. Yeah, the apples. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be on the road. It's going to be awful. I'm going to have to do my best while I'm on the road for my day job to make sure that I'm getting semi-healthy food. I'm going to Popeye's or KFC for... Uh, spicy chicken sandwich with fries and a Dr. Pepper. Get some popcorn chicken. <laughs> Gotta start having grilled chicken, throwing the bun away, getting steak with a salad, steamed vegetables, and no baked potato swimming in sour cream and butter. Jesus, I make myself hungry. <laughs> Good thing we just went to the grocery store. Looks like it's gonna rain. It does. <laughs> it might. Start raining right as we pull up back into the driveway. Yeah, probably. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I go to Trader Joe's. Just went to Trader Joe's. 
Calgon, You're take me away! Right. See, I need three ships. Three ships. Should have fucking went and just let everything <laughs> melt. All right, so it's been a weird day. I guess weird in general because it's literally all over the place. One minute, it's like dark, overcast, almost like it's going nighttime, and then the sun's out. And then it looks like it's starting to sprinkle. And then I think I hear like thunder. And then it's perfectly sunny with blue sky out. So I don't know what the hell's going on. That being said, it's 86 degrees and sweltering. I'm probably just going to stop talking about the weather. I mean, I know I say it all the time and I tell you what the weather is. But the whole bitching about it going back and forth and being sweltering and hot as balls and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's just happening everywhere, so it's only going to get worse because I have to drive, you know, down into South Carolina and then further west. So it it's going to be awful out. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to that. So, all right, I got the, basically the Forerunner is all completely unpacked of all the shit. And then I started stacking a, a little bit, you know, like I got a, a, a like a little kit with some tools and, and fix a flat shit like that. Uh, or not not fix a flat, the, the product, but like so I can fix a flat, like if I get a nail or something. Uh, I took out the compressor and the jack, though, so, I mean, fuck it. There's nothing I could do about that. That stuff takes up way too much space. Uh, but I have everything all ready to go. I've got a, a packet, you know, like a case of the seltzer water. I'll probably have to bring a cooler with some of the ice packets in it, and then I could just take them into the hotel rooms and, and uh, you know, keep them cool anyways. I bought some snacks for the road. That That's about it. I finished all of my presentations and recaps for this coming week. So at least at this point, it's 3.05 and I'm done with day job. You know, I mean, except for the expense report, but that won't take me long. I just have to take the pictures and, and finish it. So moving right along, I have been going through the footage. And now that I've turned this back up so that everything's at plus six, I think I'm good to go with the volume. And I have to say that shooting in HDR in 4K24 with Rocksteady on, with the DJI mic, with the receiver, the transmitter, and the camera all at plus six, I think that this looks great. I think it sounds pretty good. And pretty much I'm not doing anything that I don't do all the time when I'm filming and posting videos. So I think I, think I got a winner now. Let me know what you think, because I think I finally have this Osmo Action 3 dialed in so that it works for pretty much anything that I do. And I think it looks good, and I think it sounds good. But let me know what you think. Maybe I'm crazy. But that's it. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.